We are only seconds away from signing the lease. Priscilla, are you happy? Yes. Yes, she's happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy because we just leased this apartment for a year. Just a nice little condo, apartment area, bathroom, uh, uh, you know, little small walk-in closet, bedroom, just a nice little cozy place for me and my wife finally to be in. Well, my week is starting right now. my week. Day one of moving in and all the stuff you see right here in the living room, most of it actually came out of storage. So this is all our storage stuff and we have still yet to move the stuff that we usually use. But we'll do that tomorrow. Look at this. It's a strainer that's open like that, and then I guess you put here or there or whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's beautiful. Cool. You can use it for multiple Fancy. things. Yeah. It just folds in and out like so. Huh? Yep. Cool. Haha. <laughs> that's cool. Thank you, Katya. Today's day two of moving all the stuff into the apartment and so far this is my uh, fourth load I think in this car. Yeah. Leaves yeah. My fourth load in this car and this is just all our books. It's mostly books and uh, some bathroom stuff and other small computer items and stuff like that, but it's amazing all this stuff we have. This is the last bit of the small stuff and then I'll probably go back today um, to get another load of just the big stuff that like the big small furniture that can fit in this vehicle and then hopefully within the next day or two can acquire a truck from somebody that will be able to help haul uh, all the big stuff that I can't fit in this little itty bitty car. And uh, now since we've got the little stuff now I've got to go into the apartment and organize all the little stuff because it's just scattered everywhere. some organic um, non-caffeinated coffee brewing in the morning. That means it's day three and we still have a lot of work to do. As you're seeing this beautiful scenery, I'll tell you about uh, what's going on with this day. I uh, was able to sort through some things in the room. Got about half of it done, organized, either thrown out or put in storage. And so now me and Priscilla are just at the clubhouse section of of the condos. We have a nice we have a nice balcony here and, and there, there's there's a nice little river and you can hear it just babbling babbling away. Here we are inside the clubhouse. Here you have a nice little bar as you enter in through the doorway right over there. Nice little bar with a nice little kitchenette there and then inside you just have all this space and you can probably hear my echo. Just all these tables, ping pong table, I mean 
you can make this a party if you wanted to. Here is the pool area. Pretty sweet pool area. And you got the locker rooms. And this all lights up so you can have it brightly lit or also you can turn it down to where a nice blue intimate setting. But for some reason you have a fireplace down here too. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you, people usually use this, but pretty clean and not bad. Anyway, that's the clubhouse. Now I'm going to show you something I think equally awesome you might not, but uh, the storage area, the basement. This is our storage area. And I just want to show you this is the basement area. I love this basement area because it's one of my favorite parts about this place because you have long open hallways and it stretches around the complex like a horseshoe. So there's so much room. So, I mean, this would definitely be a great place to like to shoot some type of suspense slash horror slash fighting type of short film. So. I already talked to the landlord about it and she'd give me the opportunity to use this area whenever I need it. So it's a really nice setup that we here have here. So three good things, you know. The condo itself, basement, and the clubhouse and the pool. Now this coming Sunday, like we'll take the day off tomorrow, which is Saturday. And then what we'll have to do Sunday is basically grab a U-Haul and get all the stuff that won't fit in our car here, which isn't too much stuff, but just to complete the move, we kind of need to do that, so we'll do that this Sunday. It's a uh, day of moving. We're not actually doing much moving. It's uh, Saturday. We're going to do the major moving tomorrow, but me and Priscilla just decided to relax and walk through uh, Farmington, uh, the area that we're at, to just see what, we, what, what was available, and there's a lot of places uh, available. They have like little small cafes, farmer's market. Went to a little uh, grocery store that they had there just opened, and we got all this stuff for like $15. Yeah. And show me a toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, me and Priscilla are really liking this place. Not only avoided the condos, but just the area itself is awesome. Day six. And look what it's doing outside. It is raining. It's been not raining every other day we've been moving, but the day we have to move the big stuff and the stuff I do not want to get wet, it's raining. So, that's going to be a fun day. Friend Jason's going to be coming over, helping us out. Hopefully we can get this done fairly quickly. We already have the bed frame up. All we just do is get the mattresses in here. We gotta get uh, the computer desk, computer, TV. And we're hauling the big stuff today. Rain or shine. So now we're gonna have uh, got everything loaded into the van, as you see back there. Um, all our stuff is in the van, and I don't think we're gonna be able to fit all of it in, but we did, thanks to uh, Jason's help, who's holding the camera right now. Say hi. Hello. We gotta get home, get the stuff unloaded get this U-Haul van back to U-Haul place in time before the place closes. Papa John's makes everything all better. Got our stuff and finished eating pizza. And so now we are officially, even though we don't have everything organized, me and my wife are officially moved in. Despite the rain, because it rained pouring, poured sheet, pouring rain sheets the whole time that uh, we were moving the stuff. But despite that, we were able to get moving in pretty, pretty fast time. So thank you, Jason, for your help. And I will see all of you next week.